Good morning, Pisciados. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos. Let's see what we have going on for this Monday. We're going to pull three of these. This is Golden Insights Oracle by Maruka X. We got the Ten of Swords there at the bottom. I'm hearing music. Spirit. Angels. Ancestors. And higher beings. Please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? We got sun, dice, and gift. Now I'm going to tell you what I was hearing. I was hearing, I gave you all the love, I got, I gave you more than I could give. I gave you love. I gave you all that I had inside and you took my love. You took my love. This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. That was from the movie Indecent Proposal. And it was interesting because they met, okay, for the people that don't know, um, there was two Demi Moore and Woody Harrelson and they were a couple and they didn't have a lot of money but um, they went gambling I think they had to pay off a debt or something I don't remember so they went gambling to try to win that money and they didn't and so they ran into a very wealthy person and this wealthy person did an in indecent proposal he made an indecent proposal to them one night with your wife and I forget how much it was a million I don't even know so um, she did it and it complicated a lot of the situ the, the relationship at the end they winded up getting back together so you know money couldn't buy um, love but it definitely um, it definitely caused problems so, and it's interesting with that dice, you know, because that's what I was feeling. So, and then the gift too, receiving a gift, something unexpected, exploring your gifts and being rewarded. So I can't help but feel, this is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Give me a second. You may, there's a, okay, there's a person in your life that does not want to share you. They don't want to share you. Mm -mm. But they're noticing Maybe the other people are, you know, giving you attention. Maybe other people um, want to be around you somehow, Pisces. So I feel like this person is willing to do anything to kind of stop you being around other people in some way. Like this person is trying to keep you to themselves. They do not want to share you. This is the opposite of that. They, they don't want to share you. But I do feel like where there's some form of indecent proposal, like somebody's trying to buy you. It could be your person, could be another person in the future, Pisces. But I do feel like somebody is trying to buy you in some way. And that's what I'm getting here. I feel like you exude happiness, success, clarity, divine masculine, you know, and this could be for females as well. It doesn't matter. Like you exude um, like maybe that energy that Demi Moore had, like I can't be bought. You can't buy people. You know, you can't buy attention. You can't buy affection. But, you know. The reality is, Pisces, let's say you start a new job, you know, and you, you know, or you, something along those lines, you start a new job and, um, you know, somebody likes you, you know, and somebody is going to make sure that they pay for your attention or being around you. And I just can't help but feel that there's a Woody Harrelson out there that is like, uh-uh, like, no, you're not moving in on this. 
type of vibe, Pisces. It says here, risk involved, trusting fate, weighing the risk, playing the game of chance. This is in the challenge position. Somebody doesn't want to take a chance on you. And they're willing to do is the energy I'm feeling anything it takes to make sure that you don't um, get close to another person. And it does feel morally bad as well, Pisces, because I don't feel like they're willing to just, you know, love you and do everything right. I feel like they're willing to go through some forms of extremes like that indecent proposal to to um, keep you to themselves. And we're going to get deeper into that. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we talking about, Willis. All right. Spirit, tell me more. Page of Swords. Wow. Two of Wands. There you go, Pisces. There's the two. Strength. Good morning, Train. And Page of Cups. Craps. I just heard craps maybe because dice. I don't know craps. All right. There's my crazy card, Pisces. This is crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. I feel like this is your person saying that. Now, this could be happening now or this could be happening in the future. This is crazy. This guy is just trying to buy you or this girl's just trying to buy you. She's just trying to get close to you. She doesn't want to, um, um, you know, it's not just about your work. It's not just about, you know, you know, whatever this is. I'm not sure. Um, it's about getting close to you. It's about wanting to be with you. You know, this is the energy. Like somebody's like not feeling this Pisces. We got page of swords. This is like an investigation. This is like looking into someone. This is a person who um, is not picking their battles. So to me, they feel a little bit, you know, disorientated because they have a fear of losing you. There is a two of wands that's right next door. This is friction. This person um, definitely is feeling something is ha happening or something will happen and another person's going to swoop you in and take you away. You may be doing really good at work, Pisces, or you may be, um, you know, having some form of a glow up, some form of a healthy look to you in some way. I don't know, Pisces, you may be taking care of your mental, your physical and your spiritual and um, it's attracting. It's very attracting, Pisces. And I, I just feel like somebody wants a piece of it, or at least they're going to want a piece of it. And there's someone here that is like, nope, this person is not for sale. They are mine. And they're kind of losing it a little bit. You know, there's a strength card there in the reversal. Like, um, again, this could be happening now, or this could be happening in the future. Like, they're very disorientated. They're losing it, Pisces, literally, page of cups. But I also feel, be very careful for yourself, Pisces. Um... I know how hard you worked on your mental, physical, and emotional health. And there's something here about this person, new person, old person, I'm not sure, one of these people that are going to kind of try to, uh, not intentionally, but it's just the games of trying to buy you or trying to win you that might take you a little bit off your zone is what I'm getting. But let's go deeper. Let's see what else. <coughs> Whoa. A love like that won't last. A love like that won't last. I don't know if this is a person telling you this or you telling yourself this. You can't buy a person. I keep feeling that. Like you just can't buy a person. You can't buy a person's silence. So you see it clear here, right? Where somebody's looking into it. Somebody's trying to be sneaky. This kind of actually looks like that guy. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Robert Redford? I don't know. From Indecent Proposal. Doesn't it look like him? Am I crazy? <laughs> Page of Cups. Am I crazy, Pisces? Ooh. Ooh, I got a little anxiety there because it's just, it's kind of scary. Like, well, 
confirmation, Pisces, like there is somebody, this could be a boss of yours. This could be someone that sees your potential in a certain area of life. So they're going to make up stuff, Pisces, to try to get close to you. They've been watching you. They've been watching you for a long time. They do want more from you. Um, their tactics may not be 100% morally correct is what I'm getting, but um, they're the type of person that they get what they want. You know, they're very, they feel powerful. Um, oh, Pisces, this friction here with that Ace of Cups is just telling me like this person, there's this other person, this could be a past person, current, I don't know, but there's a person that, um, two things, they may either shut down, but because they're feeling, you know, all, very disoriented, they cannot believe that someone that you're not seeing this, they believe you don't see the signs. You know, they believe that you don't understand what's happening. They want to sleep with you. They want to be with you. You know, this is the feeling. And they're willing to say and do anything. Ace of Cups there in reverse. Sometimes Pisces, and I keep feeling that morally incorrect thing, and I don't know why. It's like sometimes they will say things unpleasant about you. And it's because they want to turn off the other person. They want the other person to not think that you're a prize or you're a gift or you're you're something that they want they want to make you seem like you know it's not that special you know and I feel that energy Pisces is somebody that's trying to keep you to themselves so they may be doing and saying things that you probably get pissed off about Pisces honestly like you probably would be like how dare you lie on me and say those things and it's all because they want to keep you to themselves is what I'm getting there's that uh knight of pentacles there be very careful with this person because, okay, you worked on your health, mental, physical, emotional. Um, you're working on your finances. You're trying to take um, some type of risky opportunities for your life to better your life. And I do feel like this person and their wild side and their untamed nature may try to stop your bag, so to say, may try to stop your income. Um, you're not this delicate little flower, man or woman, I don't care. You're not this delicate little flower that doesn't know the den and the the uh, i'll show you how to move in an industry full of vultures you know type of energy that i'm picking up here pisces like you'll do just fine you've been through a lot already you got a lot of guidance you got a lot of uh, spiritual people on your back so you know how to move yeah it's kind of scary it's kind of like all these like suits and whatever this is pisces but you know, you are equipped and you know better and you're going to go in there and handle your business. Kind of like Demi Moore. She kind of got lost, though. She went and she she slept with the guy for money and then she kind of started liking him. You know, and she kind of got lost in the sauce, so to say. Right. So she started doing that thing and then she lost her way. She lost who she really was. She lost her connection to her past and she, who she was in the past. Kim been fly since she in the fifth grade. So there's something about you also, Pisces, that is. Um, being confirmed about you are the same person that you've always been. You're the same person that you've always been. I think somebody from your past, I don't know, is going to confirm something for you or show you or show others that you've been that person. So I feel two things. I feel where there are possible people that can talk positive about you. And then there's a person that may um, try to negate it or try net to talk negative to try to keep you in under wraps is the feeling to themselves basically <sighs> this person's losing it I don't know who this person is now this could be the the new person this could be the old person I'm gonna keep it real I don't know someone is very risky someone's a big uh, chance taker um, they break a lot of hearts is the feeling um, you are walk Pisces. I'm, I'm with you right now. I don't know what fields or area of work or life that you're in right now, but you will have some type of vultures and sharks around you, Pisces. And they're not mentally well. I'm going to keep it real. They may come from a background where they get everything that they want what, by any means necessary. They'll do whatever it takes. They probably built their fortune on some form of... Uh, uh, a stepping on other people, lies, you know, hurting other people. Now I'm getting the pr the pretty woman um, where the guy, um, pretty woman, yes, she was a prostitute and he picked her up and it was just supposed to be, um, it wasn't supposed to be anything, but he winded up getting attached to her as well. Like something along those lines is what I'm getting, Pisces, like somebody that winds up getting attached to you. 
um, and again tries to buy you because that's what he did. He bought her too. He bought her, uh, Julia Roberts. Um, and there we go. The redhead, right? Um, what am I trying to say? That's a lot, Pisces. Hold on. I have faith in you. I have faith that you know how to move in an industry full of vultures in a place that, you know, is is dangerous is what I'm feeling. Um, but there is someone here that is very afraid that you'll get taken away from uh, from them because of the spotlight, because of the money, because of um, this new thing, Pisces, this new thing. So there is that here. I, I have faith in you. I feel this, Pisces. Let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, what is the outcome? Three of Wands. <laughs> yes, I, I knew there was a reason I had faith in you. I knew there was a reason, Pisces. A lot of energy and there's a lot of sexual energy is what i'm feeling as well too pisces that's why this gets kind of um heightened i guess but um three of wands third parties pisces what is the outcome i think you're going to okay i don't know exactly what you're gonna do but i do feel people from your past that you're going to keep but you're also going to move forward into a new direction we do got two of cups um, I don't know, <laughs> like, you may be a little Demi Moore like. You may be a little bit Julia Roberts like, where you start, you know, enjoying this game, this new environment. I, I see it here, Pisces. That is your outcome. No one is going to uh, deter you from your goals. I do feel somebody that is very fearful, but they will still be there. And they're just going to have to accept that you're you're strong enough to handle yourself. And whether you're with the old person or you leave the, the old person for the new person doesn't matter. No one's going to dictate your life. When you make a choice or decision based on what's best for you, that's what you're going to do. And that's the feeling I'm getting there. I do see somebody kind of that three of wands kind of just uh, looking over at the two of cups and they're going to have to watch you with other people. That's what I felt, Pisces. Ooh, there's the the health sign, right? I felt something about health. All right, Spirit, what advice do we have for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Um, it's not your fault that other people are not going to be satisfied with themselves. Um, so I, I, I'm trying to see what exactly that means. It's not your fault that other people will not be satisfied with themselves. I do feel like this is going to try to make a person work harder to gain your attention. Like I said, it could be negative as well. I did feel something about them doing something um, to try to defame you in some way or you know make someone else not interested in you. I did feel that. But I also feel, Pisces, that... You know, um, you can't help or control where your life is headed. And if that means someone from your past or, you know, your current, whatever this is, is going to work on themselves and try to um, make things happen for themselves, well, good for them. That has nothing to do with you, honestly, Pisces. And that's the advice here is kind of like, if you see this person kind of going out of control, maybe they need to go out of control so that they can figure themselves out as well. Let me see if I got anything else. I also feel something that you invested in or you put a lot of work into is going to lead to another stream of income with the two of pentacles. Sometimes the two of pentacles, honestly, Pisces is a give or take. It's a give or take, right? And I kind of feel like you have been working towards something and it's going to require you to give and to take like or to you know to to give and to receive so there is going to be an exchange here and i feel like spirit is telling you do the exchange i'm not saying sleep with someone for money i'm saying you put in a work into this area and you're ready to play you're ready to gamble you're ready to take that risk 
is the feeling. So go into that direction is what I'm feeling that spirit is saying. Like you're equipped. Sometimes the things that we've been through in our lives are helping us to deal with the future vultures of our lives. We already seen a lot of vultures. We already see the people that pick at your flesh when you're down and out, right? So we already have a leg up. We know we will never be down and out. We will stay clear, clear, successful, happy, and in our divine masculine. You know, we will stay healthy. That was something that's immensely emotional, physically healthy in order for us to do the exchange, in order to get that prize or that end situation that we want to receive, Pisces. All right, career money, Pisces. Ten of swords here for what you don't see coming. I'm sorry, I missed that. Somebody that does try to defame you or um, hurt you or keep you out of a situation is not going to work. Let me see what's right behind it. Ace of swords. This is like not having clarity, not being truthful, Pisces. I think it will be seen for, for what it is. For example, like if a person is trying to say, oh, Pisces is... A horrible person at this and the other person will be like yeah you're kind of insecure you're kind of intimidated you want me to take your girl or take your man type of energy I see what you're doing that's what I got there all right spirit tell me more dress to impress competition I knew it <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's just great to see the words payday payday Pisces you've been looking for this payday You've been through the bottom. You saw those vultures ha, 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 come and pick at your flesh. But somehow you got up again and you're looking good, dressed to impress, and you're ready for this. And I did feel this is, could be you going into this exchange, you know, to receive that payday. But I, I definitely feel this with the two people that I felt here. It's somebody that doesn't want to let you go and sees that you um, may have somebody else may be interested in you and um, this is going to be a thing because it is in the challenge position Pi um, Pisces it's it's a thing <laughs> it's not going to be all peaches and cream you know um, but I think you're ready this is what this is telling me like sometimes you have to go through a difficult situation in order to gain the strength and gain the knowledge that you have today that you're not going to let yourself get sick you're not going to, whether that's physical, mental, or emotional, you're ready to play. You're ready to take a risk. You're ready to gamble to receive that payday, Pisces. I think you're going to win. That's what it says. You're going to win. You're ready to win, Pisces. All right, let's get to the Oshos. You can't be bought either is what I felt. You're willing to work. There's something here about that. Even if um, you'll take advantage, you will take advantage. It, and it's not taking advantage, it's, and it's not being an opportunist. It's seeing a window of opportunity and seizing it. Because if this person had an opportunity to seize an opportunity, to seize something from you, they would. So, but you're ready to play. You're ready, Pisces. Spirit, tell me more. Control. This is the name of the game for everyone, Pisces. Clinging on to the oop challenge. Clinging on to the path. Friendliness, Pisces. Oh, and I did look at the bottom. Isolation. Um, whew, okay. Control, Pisces. This is the name of the game. Everybody wants control. Everyone is in it to win it. You know, I think you're in it to win it as well. Whatever this may be, you are ready. You see the vultures, you see the demons, you see what's going on around you. And um, you're going to play, Pisces. Clinging to the past, something about some type of failures or people that you may have had in your past, and you're going to just let them go. You're going to let them slide. Yeah, um, dirt off your shoulders is what I'm hearing. It's just dirt off your shoulders. You know, that's the feeling there. We also got friendliness here at the end. There's a lot of friendly people in your life, Pisces. They smile and they smile and they smile, but you got the one up because you know better. You know that everyone is in it to win it. Everybody is trying to gain some type of control. I'm telling you, you have the leg up here. I could feel it. You're not going to be stuck with Pisces anymore that thinks that somebody shows you some form of friendliness or some type of exchange. It's like because, you know, it just is. They're just a really nice person. No. But you will take advantage of it. 
you will take it as an opportunity, as a, 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 a hole or a gateway into what you're trying to do. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.